Okay, we are took these three dogs and now we are going to our grooming salon to shave them all. As you saw there, mother and daughter are good behavior, but uh, the male is a little bit aggressive. So we will see uh, how it will be treatment in the salon. Uh, let's go. is one of 20 uh, dogs in our campaign uh, 100 <laughs> 100 euros haircut and more about that we will talk to you later in this video actually three of 20 uh, the owner tell us that dogs uh, are free of ticks and fleas but uh, ticks are all over the hair walking walking <laughs> See, two minutes of uh, here. Okay, now it's time for haircut. Why some dogs live like this? I'm so disappointed and sad. You may have thought a little while ago that I had a smile on my face, but it was a smile of helplessness. The one when you don't know how to react when you realize the seriousness of the situation. All this time you could see through our videos that I'm a tolerant person, that I always try to help and understand. But this is the first time in my entire career that I was rude to the owners and that I told them everything in their faces. I mean, literally everything. What do you think? Did they deserve that? This dog is so, so nice, so well behaved, beautiful creature. I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> this is the moment where I realize I don't have time to use a tick removal. There are simply too many of them and I have to use only my hands. I'm so sad. Antiparasitic liquid.
as you can see, we are using a protecting masks because everything in, is in the air. Uh, for uh, you know, it's not good for our lungs, so we are protecting us. Now my wife is taking a bath of this dog, and uh, yeah, we will see how it will be later. Yeah, click the subscribe button here and give us support for uh, what we are doing. And uh, later I will talk to you about uh, $100 action. So after betting, we will talk about this. I think this is the first time this dog feels good. And this is also antiparasitic liquid. She is all clean and free of ticks, I hope so. No, she's not. This is endless job. And yeah, about a hundred dollars here comes. We wrote on our Facebook page that we are giving a hundred dollars for information on where we can find the neglected dogs that need help. And that's how we found the 20 dogs. Various people contacted us. Those who have seen such dogs on the street, neighbors and uh, also the owners of such a dogs who for plenty of reasons kept the dogs like this. We traveled all over the country while doing this assignment. Some of those dogs have already been published on the channel and some will be soon, so stay tuned. She will get full treatment like any other customer dog in our salon. Ah, my haircut is awful. But it's in line with how I feel about this dog. So well behaved dog. People, don't ever let your dog look like this. If you don't know how to properly maintain your dog, please consult experts in your area. Like I said, full treatment or read everything about dog grooming and about their health on our blog website petgroomhouse.com You can learn a lot, I promise. And all that for free.
Okay, welcome to part two. Now we are shaving a male and the female is already done. Don't forget to subscribe and watch all of them in videos of transformation. Let's go. So, peaks are all over the hair, uh, walking on hair. So, I will shave the hair and throw away immediately and close the bag. Let's get started. As you can see, I came up with the idea of shaving part by part of the hair and immediately throwing it in the trash so that the parasites that walk around the dog would not spread around the salon. There is a concentrated liquid for killing ticks in the trash can. That somehow seemed like a better option than shaving it all off and then throwing it away. Of course, at the end of everything, I had to do antiparasitic treatment in the entire salon. This is literally the worst case I have ever had in my entire career. You can imagine what I have seen in 10 years of working as a dog groomer, but this is the worst. It's much worse than it looks in the video. And one more thing. This is not Hungarian pulley, this is neglected poodle. Do you start scratching yourself when you watch all those ticks walking around? Me too, it's gross. And yeah, if you are interested in how to maintain your dog and prevent it from getting into this condition, visit our blog website petgroomhouse.com and learn many useful things. All that for free. On this dog, look what we found. There is more than 100 ticks. And now I will put them here. By the way, the owners told us that this dog is very aggressive and that there is no way we will be able to groom him, but do you remember that I said in previous videos that I can predict how the dog will behave? I immediately saw in his eyes that he was not aggressive at all and that he would be just fine. He's just sad in that environment.
this is the biggest challenge and, and most disgusting job I have ever done in this salon. watched the previous video, you saw that I was extremely angry about the dogs being neglected like this and then I said that I was extremely mean to the owners for the first time in my career. Because you wanted it, in this video I will tell you exactly what I said to their faces, but before that I would like to explain to you why I had no understanding for the owners of these dogs. Prepare yourself for what you will hear now. They keep those dogs for the purpose of breeding and selling puppies. When I hear that, I got pissed off. Especially when they said that they kept that puppy because it's a female, so they're going to buy another male so they can mate. It's just boiled over inside me and I told them everything I thought. I told them that what they are doing is cruel. Also I told them, how can you never hug your dogs? Because if you had petted them once, you would have seen a bunch of things. How are you not ashamed to feed dogs only with the bread? How dare you keep them locked in a cage? Who does that? Uh, I told them all kinds of things. If that's how they get money, it would be necessary for those dogs to have a normal life at least. But after all, why would a dog bring money to someone? Why not try to make money yourself? Of course, they didn't appreciate the criticism at all. They were already angry with me and told me I was rude. But was I? What do you think? Would you do the same or would you rather mind your own business? Tell me in the comments. I really tried my best to help those dogs and remove all the ticks. But it's mission impossible. Trust me, it is. And it's official. I can't do this anymore. There is no point. There is a, thousands of ticks and that is a veterinarian job. I'm not wet, I'm a groomer. And that became a dangerous for me, for us. Ticks are all over the room and we have to finish that here. And the third dog, the puppy of two of them, we won't work with him, we won't give him a haircut because the owners have to solve the problem with the ticks and with uh, all the parasites on it and then we can make maybe some haircut but for now that's it, we are not going to groom that dog, we are done with this Poor dogs, but I'm sorry it is dangerous for us. I'm done. I'm sorry. Yeah, we have to finish with this. We are going to drive that dogs to the owner and uh, yeah, that's it. We will give them only $200. We will finish with hair as much as we can and that's it.
I didn't want to give them any money at all, but my husband said that we have to keep our word. You will hear his opinion below. Okay, dogs are at their home. I hope that they will be okay. And uh, that money, I hope that they will spend on uh, veterinary or on some medics for them. And yeah, there will be an update of this video, I'm sure, for maybe two or three months. So don't forget to subscribe on this channel and uh, give us uh, support, nothing else. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye.